hello, here we are at Computex 2009. This is Hexus TV, and I'm talking to Ken Ho, who's the president of Inno3D. Hi, Scott. Right. Um, so, Inno3D, you're an NVIDIA um, graphics card partner. Yes. Um, can you just tell me a little bit more about Inno3D, how long ago it was uh, founded? Well, Inno3D was first launched about 12 years ago, uh, at the time that FDFX actually launched the uh, Voodoo graphic card. Okay. Uh, at the time, we think instead of shipping a white box, we need a good brand name to carry, you know, uh, some uh, technology product to the end user. Um, okay, and can you uh, just tell me a little bit more about your relationship with Nvidia? What it's like being a sort of board partner of them? We started with Nvidia about ten years ago with the first product like River 128, and then since then we keep on building Nvidia product. Yeah. And then in the last five or six years, we only build Nvidia only. Right. Uh, we build Nvidia from top to bottom. Uh, you know, even with the, some of the legacy product, the ATP product for... Okay, there's for, still demand for uh, that stuff. Yeah, for it? industrial PC and things like that. And even the latest high-end, you know, 295 type of product, that's why full range for Nvidia. And, uh, I mean, recently, Nvidia's basically just got one competitor right now, AMD stroke ATI. And recently they've been doing quite well with their products. They've been get, getting quite competitive. How has that been for you? Well. Last summer when ATI launched the seven se RV770, there was a little hiccup, but uh, since last September, you know, NVIDIA really catch up with, with yep. some of the uh, better product and uh, 98 GT, uh, the G200 and uh, G, uh, GTX 260, uh, and then 2, 285, 275 and 295. Right now in the first quarter actually, NVIDIA gained back a lot of the market share on the high end. Really? Yes. Especially in the high end? Yes. Okay, that's interesting. Um, and uh, with, you know, there's obviously a lot of NVIDIA AIBs, a lot of board partners. What, what does Inno3D do that's different from the rest of them? Uh, we have been with them for 10 years and then uh, there's a big customer base that we build up. And then we also have a premium brand called iTrio that actually gives the gamer a, a really different type of experience with uh, overclocking capability and also some of the best cooling uh, okay, you got a little style. Here. Yeah, <laughs> and you look at you know things like things like on a, on a genuine GTS two fifty, you know with the uh, standard design and standard cooler, uh, it's about sixty five uh, degrees uh, working temperature. Okay. But with I chill, we can bring it down to forty two, which you gain about twenty three degrees. Mm -hmm. And on the top of that, of course, you can gain more uh, overclocking if you really want to. Yeah. Okay. okay, and that is one payment product that you know the end user like a lot, okay. especially the gamers. Okay. So we've got a couple of uh, iChill products here. Do these come pre-overclocked? Yes. Yeah, this okay. is pre-overclocked, and then uh, this type of product, uh, what I just talked about, the pre-overclocked, you know, they can further overclock, and then they are they are very good in cooling with a yeah. big, you know, uh, difference in in, in bringing the temperature down. Okay, um, and then lastly, we got one other product here. Um, this is a this is a GeForce GTX 295. Now I understand that uh, most of video partners aren't particularly allowed to discuss this, so we're privileged to have a look at it. And as you can see, viewers, it's a single PCB 295. So that's one of the things that's distinctive about it. Well, this is the latest product. <laughs> yes, that's all you're allowed to say. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's all we've got time for for now. But uh, thank you very much, Ken. Thank you, thank you, Scott. So I was talking to Ken Ho, president of Inno3D. You're watching Hexus TV at Computex 2009. This is Ken Ho, uh, president of uh, Inno3D. Uh, you are watching uh, Hexus TV. Thank you.